fight coming up next. It is a women's strawweight championship fight between Kylan Curran and Joanna Yelmjacek. All right, so here she is, the number one 115-pound contender and a strawweight who many fans believe is the number one strawweight in the world. Now, thankfully, the best will fight the best. This is her chance to prove it. She is not the champion. She believes she will leave as such. And as she makes this walk, you hear the crowd behind her. She is looking to leave as the new UFC strawweight champion. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the song in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer. Only professional record on 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, presenting the challenger, Yolanda Yerojaja! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record on. Four wins, six losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting at an Eva Beach Hawaii, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Kylan Kyle. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go Ready? down right, right now. All right, here we go. The UFC women's strawweight title is on the line. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good kick. Nice jab. Oh, she landed the one-two there. Front kick to the body. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Oh, she put everything into that one. Huge kick. And this is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. No, oh, the left leg goes high. 
Well, she ate that straight punch to the head, and she's got to be careful here. She has shown a vulnerability by leaning right into her opponent's range. Got to find a way to get that head off the center line and do better defensively here. With conviction to the body. Oh! This could be it right here. Up there! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh! What a leg kick! Oh! This could be it! Big she body shot! To the body. body kick, look at that! Huge uppercut misses. Nice uppercut. Look at that. Wow. Oh, beautiful leg kick by her there. Can't take too many of those. And you do really want, what is it going to take to break someone like Young Jacek? It can take her down, knock her down, and still fresh as a daisy. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Absolutely. You know, Jack Jack gets caught with that punch. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Curran gets hit by that leg kick. Front kick to the face. Oh, it lands a nice straight. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice defense there. She blocks the shot, Joe. Oh, beautiful lead right hand. Clean straight punch. Oh, nice jab there by Yoani Yon Jacek. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Round two is next. There's a nice kick to the body. Here's a nasty kick to the body. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer with us. Are you ready? Are you ready? Second round underway. Nice. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And she lands a nice kick. Huge block for her, Joe. Wow. Curran gets hit with a kick. Well, without even looking at those stats bottom of your screen, you know that the most significant strike in this fight has been to the body. It has been there for her all night long. She knew coming into this fight that she didn't want to just head hunt. She didn't want to just leg kick. She had to attack the midsection, soften up her opponent. She has certainly done that here tonight. Yep. Yon Jacek gets tattooed by that stiff jab. <laughs> nice leg kick. Excellent feint with the kick. Well, she got kicked flush to the body there, Joe, right underneath her elbow, right underneath that guard. But it almost looks as though she's moving right into it. So until she makes the adjustments, you can figure her opponent is going to continue to attack that area. She blocks the shot, Joe. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she has still been unable to string together anything in terms of a solid combination. And it is going to take strikes in bunches to get an opponent of this caliber out of there. Let's see where she goes from here. 
Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Good body shot. And she misses with the left punch there. Effective punch there by Kylan Kerr. Good shots by the champion. Under a minute to go in the round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. And she's down! Nice kick there by the injection. She lands with the left hand. Final seconds here of round number two. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, but not after serious damage was done. Great round there from Yang Jacek. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round. Here we see it from a different angle. And let's take a look at that from a different angle. Ariane Celeste is with us. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. She appears to be limping. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Oh, big, big body kick. Oh, effective strike there by Yolanda Yonjecha. Left kick to the body. Nice jab by Yeon Jaichek. How about that shin? Oh, nice jab. Oh. They continue to exchange. And there's a nice left hook to the body. She oh, tagged she her. A huge hook there. so good for her here in this round. Curran gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Lands to the body. To avoid clinching. Oh, tries a flying knee. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Went for the inside leg kick. Dion Jacek's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Curran gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Another Seconds now to go in the round. Good left hand. There was a nice exchange. Oh, she got the target there. That'll work. That one hurt. Just misses there with the left. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Let's see some of the action here.
And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five. Ooh, that's it, kid. That's it. The fight's over. She kept attacking with those leg kicks all night long, and finally her opponent could take no more, and she wins by leg kick stoppage. And exactly the desired result for her here tonight. What a flurry for her at the end of the fight. Certainly it was the one big strike that started it all, led to the knockdown, and ultimately created the opening for her to jump in and force the referee stoppage. The referee had no other choice but to step in and call an end to the fight. Let's see it one more time. So there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion of the World. That sounds good. And how about the performance to get the win by TKO tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and New So congratulations are in order to the new UFC champion. And what is it going to take to dethrone this new champion? She was absolutely on point here tonight. Big title opportunity. She took full advantage. Can't wait to see how her championship reign plays out.